It takes just 15 minutes and it can save a life. It already has. Learning CO CPR or hands only CPR is an easy skill that will last you a lifetime. Joining me today is Kelly Murray. She is a nurse at St. Mary's Hospital to show us how this is done. Welcome, Kelly. Thanks so much for staying with us. Thank you. All right, so you know, the first question that I that I have is explain the difference between CO CPR and traditional CPR. There is a difference, and when would you use both of these techniques? Traditional CPR involves mouth to mouth, and you would do that when you don't witness somebody becoming unresponsive, when you find them unresponsive. You'd use compression only CPR if you witness somebody going unresponsive, and that that just involves chest compressions and no mouth to mouth res resuscitation. COCPR is most likely for people who have are going into cardiac arrest or are having a heart attack, basically, right? Yes. Okay, so if you've been electrocuted, if somebody's drowning, uh, that would be CPR. CPR, correct. Okay, um, and tell us some of the techniques that are most important when you begin uh, doing this. You first of all want to make sure that you're safe and that your patient is safe. And then you want to determine if they're responsive or not. Mm -hmm. Shake them, call their name. If there's no uh, signs of them being responsive, and then you want to start compressions only CPR. Mm -hmm. And one of the most important things, though, is to to have a specific person calling 911, not just saying somebody call 911 because everybody's going to think, oh, well, somebody, somebody else is going to call. Doing it. Right, exactly. So mm -hmm. that's one of the first things, the most important things, because you're going to be doing this until paramedics arrive, is that accurate? Yes, okay. or until you are physically exhausted and can't continue. Because we don't want two victims in this situation, Correct. okay. You wanna go ahead and show us exactly what you're saying about the steps. I mean, there's a pretty simple list of steps that yes. you can take, so let's go ahead and do this. Okay. First Hands one, on. <laughs> first of all, you wanna make sure everything is safe, and then yeah. you wanna, sir, sir, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. And if there's no response from them, then you're gonna start your compressions. Okay. The nipple line, in the middle. Put, yep, right okay. in the middle of our chest. Place the palm of your hand here so you have the heel. Interlace your fingers. You want to use 100 compressions a minute, which is to the beat of the Bee Gees staying alive. Ha, 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 staying alive, staying alive. I can't believe I just sang, but that's literally how it happens, right? Correct. And do you want to um, put your hand off of the chest at you any point? Make sure that there's complete recoil on the chest so mm -hmm. that the heart has a chance to completely fill and get that blood back on. And you say 100 beats uh, per minute, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, but when you're in this situation, you just keep doing it until you're either too exhausted, like you say, or there's uh, an emergency personnel that's that's coming so to help, right? Leaves you. Okay, so what happens if hopefully uh, you revive the person or the person comes to? What would you do then? Then you would just wanna make sure that they maintain their airway and their pulse and keep them calm until rescue personnel arrive. And this is 15 minutes and you will have this for the rest of your life. This yes. is a very great technique to have. Yes. And you also want to learn CPR as well because the, those are two different situations that you would need that Correct. for. All right. Thanks so much, Kelly, for Thanks. teaching us hands-on learning. Thanks so much. Thank you. And again, Hands-On Hearts will be held Wednesday, May 11th. And to get a list of locations and times on your cell phone, you want to text the word HANDS to 87301. The training is free and it will only take 15 minutes. You can also get updates on your on our Facebook page and Twitter. You want to use the hashtag COCPR. We'll be right back with Bob's full forecast.